Hello friends and welcome back to another Pokemon how-to guide. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's guide we're going to be looking at how to max out Pokemon's happiness in Sword and Shield and the quickest method to do this. So within this guide I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step process for the what I believe is the quickest method to do this. We're going to do it from scratch, so we're going to start off by breeding ourselves a, a brand new Pokemon and then we're going to go through each step into getting this Pokemon's happiness maxed out as quick as possible to get the Pokemon we desired. So for this example, I'm going to use an Eevee because I'm going to be aiming to get a Sylveon. So what we want to do is just put two Pokemon into the nursery center and wait for an egg and then we can hatch this out and I'll show you the process with how to get Sylveon. So there we go, the egg is ready for us. Doesn't matter about natures or anything like that for this one. I do have Destiny Knot and the Everstone attached to my Pokemon but the IVs I'm not too worried about for this example. So we're just gonna run up and down here and hatch this egg. And while we do that, I'll just talk to you about how to indicate different happiness levels on your Pokemon. So like EVs almost, happiness counters run from 0 to 255 and anything in between that, obviously 0 is no happiness and 255 is the max. So that is what we're kind of aiming for. Anything over 229 to 255 is really good for your Pokemon and will be an area where they're going to be able to evolve if they are dependent on evolving from happiness as their evolution method. Now I'm going to pull up a graphic on the screen now and you can see this is from Cerebi.net. The link to this page will be down in the description below. It is my favorite resource place for all things Pokemon. You can go over there and you can check out what the happiness markers are for these Pokemon. And I'm going to show you in a minute once this egg has hatched where we can go to check out what your Pokemon's happiness stage is at. So here we go. The egg is ready for us. And the beauty about hatching an egg as well with happiness, normally when you're hatching an egg out, the happiness is kind of bottomed out at 100. So you've already got that bonus 100 happiness on the Pokemon because you've hatched it. Now, if you do get a Pokemon in a trade, it will have zero happiness. So the happiness will be reset. You can see here that we've got our little baby Eevee. It's not really the best nature, but it doesn't matter for this example. This is fine. So what we're gonna do is the first thing that we need is a couple of items. So once we've got our baby Pokemon or the Pokemon that you want to raise the happiness with, you want to head up to Hammerlock because this is an area, there's a specific house here where you can get all the things you need to help you out with the happiness. So once you're at the Pokemon Center, you want to head right and head to this house here. And once you're inside, you can see there are a few NPCs, but there's two in particular that you want to speak to. This one here, this little boy, if you speak to him, he will tell you all about the happiness of a specific Pokemon. So which Pokemon of yours would you like to find out about? And the one that we want to find out about is Eevee. So he will give you a response and that response will link into the level of happiness that that Pokemon has at this specific time. So, wow, I think you're on the way to become real good friends. So as you can see from the graphic on the screen right now, it is is I think you are on your way to becoming real good friends. So that is from between 100 to 149. So that's really good. That indicates that we're on the right track, but we want to be getting up to that 255. Now, the next thing you want to be doing is coming up and speaking to this girl NPC at the top of the room here. Once you speak to her, she will give you the Soothe Bell item. Now, that is an item that doubles the happiness gained on any one Pokemon holding it. So, I've already actually picked up the Soothe Bell, but if you speak to her, she will give you it. And what we want to do now is go into our Pokemon. I'm just going to remove Carcol from our party. So, we've only got Eevee in there, and I'm going to attach the Soothe Bell to Eevee right now because... This is how we speed up the whole process. So I just need to find the Soothe Bell, wherever it may be. Might be at the bottom of my mama bag. There we go, okay. So we'll give Eevee the Soothe Bell. And the next process to maxing out happiness is to come outside this house. You don't need to go anywhere. Just open up your menu screen and go to Pokemon Camp. So once we're inside Pokemon Camp, actually, the first thing we need to do, we need to come out of here, especially if you're looking to get Sylveon. We need to make sure that Eevee has got a fairy type move. So what we're going to do is just give it a candy just to make sure that, yeah, let's give it one large candy just to level it up. So we can make sure that it is going to gain one of those fairy type attacks. So then sand attack, we don't want sand attack. We were looking out for a fairy type move. Quick attack is not. And this is a really quick way to do this, to make sure that once that 
baby doll eyes. So baby doll eyes is a fairy type move. So we will just get rid of tail whip and we'll get Eevee to learn that. And to be quicker as well and more streamlined with this, you can actually have a look on Eevee's move set list and see what level it learns all of these moves. And we want to come back out. You know it's got the fairy type move and we want to go into Pokemon camp. So back in Pokemon camp here, we want to call over at Eevee. You just press the A button and Eevee will hop over to us very cutely. And then we want to take out a toy. So this is the first process in maxing our happiness out. And probably this is the most tedious bit here where we're just playing with a toy and Eevee looks really angry. So for maxing out happiness, it doesn't make much sense to me, but I mean, it works, trust me. Like I said, this is the most tedious bit of it. And I'm actually gonna show you the whole process to show you how quick you can max out this happiness, especially with the Sue Bell attached. It is a very quick method. And unlike previous generations where it has taken a lot of time to max out a Pokemon's happiness, you're either cycling around for hours with the Pokemon in your party, giving it certain items and doing certain daily events that you have to wait for day on day to actually max out the happiness of a Pokemon. This is a really nice way for us in Sword and Shield to be able to do this pretty quickly. And I would say you can probably do one Pokemon in around 10 minutes. Like honestly, it's that quick. It's a really quick method to doing this. So the first method, like I say, is you need to get the Soothe Bell, you need to come into Pokemon Camp, and then you need to start playing with the Pokemon. And then there is another step after this where we will start cooking curry, and then we want to repeat this whole process once again. And I reckon we'll probably be able to do this about two times round, and that should max out happiness enough to get Sylveon into our party. So what you really want to be doing if you're getting Sylveon for a competitive Pokemon is making sure that that hidden ability is on the, the Eevee, which is anticipation. We haven't done it for this method just to make things very quick for us. And this is the scene that we're wanting to look for. When Eevee is jumping around all happy, we know that it's done and we want to just keep waving until this icon pops up above its head right here. And it's gonna, there we go, there's the curry. So we want to hop into the menu now Go over to cooking we want to start cooking and there's a few things that you can do so to, to start cooking this is your main ingredient so you can collect these from around the wild area talking to NPCs online they'll give you certain items the digger guys as well will dig up certain curry items for you but fancy apples probably the most popular so we'll go with that one for this and between eight and ten berries and the rarer the berries the, the higher level your curry is gonna be but I'll just use the more common berries for this example so we'll just whack in 10 of the most common ones ayapapa pomeg and kelpsy so we've got 10 berries there you can use anything from two berries to 10 berries but i i feel like the, the more berries that you use the better the curry is going to be so our ingredients go in and the first step is to find the flames now you want to be doing this at a steady rate. So the, the flames are about this range right now where the, the sparks are coming out the top of the curry. You don't want it, the flames to be getting too high so you don't want to burn your curry. So around here is really good. The sparks are a good indicator. And then the next thing is to stir the curry. Again, don't do it too vigorously because if you do, it will spill out and it will mark you down. Your curry won't be as good. So you want to just be looking out for these sparks it's a really good indicator here to just stir around and just keep doing it. If you guys could see me now with my joy coins, then you'd be laughing. And then you want to be getting it in the, the lighter green circle. So you want to hit it just before it reaches there and get it in the lighter green when you're throwing your heart into the curry. And there it is done. So we are finished with this apple curry. See Evie in the background there, excited for this one and it's bitter apple curry and depending on the, the ingredients that you use it will be a different curry every time and going towards completing that curry decks if that's something that you want to do so we'll chow down and hopefully yep yeah, Evie looks like it's having a good time and enjoying it so and there's different ranks as well for each curry so uh, Coprajar and Charizard are the top two so Charizard being the top class Coprajar is the second so you can see your Pokemon's HP and PP were restored and status conditions were healed. Your Pokemon gained a lot of experience points and Eevee got quite friendly towards you. So that's what we're looking for. Eevee got quite friendly towards us. So we've done one round of that and we want to do this whole process once again. So we'll call Eevee over, take out a toy, 
and I'm just gonna show you here that this doesn't take very long. So as I say, like this to me is the, the most tedious bit where we're just sitting playing, but you're just mashing it and doing this. And it, like, honestly, it doesn't even take that long to do. It really doesn't. Like, I remember back in previous generations where you'd be like, oh, come on, I don't want to have to max out Snorlax's happiness just so I can use return on it or evolve Togepi into Togekiss. It's like, ah, oh, it's gonna take me hours just to get this one Pokemon when you're really desperate. Whereas we've got this method now, like I've been saying, it's a really quick method. So I'm hoping that you'll be able to translate this into your own games and get these Pokemon that evolve through happiness a lot quicker. And you can see periodically that between the, the music notes when Eevee's coming in, there are hearts coming out of it. So that is an indicator that we are maxing that happiness out. We are leveling it up and it's happiness. So that's what you wanna be looking out for and the more hearts that you do get indicate how happy the Pokemon is. As you can see from the, the graphic earlier, you see one heart kind of means from 100 to 149, two's from 150 to 199, and then three from 200 to 229, four is 230 plus, and then obviously five hearts is 255. And what we're looking for here is Eevee to kind of stop attacking us and ready to move on to the curry, which shouldn't take too long to do. And here we are, there we are, we're done. So see, it very quick. I wanna just keep waving this until it like flags up with the curry mark and which will be here it's looking a bit puzzled it doesn't want to play anymore and there's the curry so that's the indicator that we'll start cooking again and we'll do one more curry cook off we'll use a different item this time we'll use the large leak and then we'll just bang in a lot of berries once again same sort of berry mixture that we'll use this time around a guav and it's just because I've got a lot of these berries. And if you guys are wanting to get more berries, I did a berry guide on how to farm a lot of berries. And I'll link that up in the top right hand corner for you right now if you want to check that out so you can make sure you can get as many berries as possible. So here we go, curry round two. And this should be the last one that we're doing. Again, we want to just fan the flames, just whack that Joy-Con up and down. If you're playing on a, a Switch Lite or you've got your Switch in handheld mode, then you're just going to be mashing A. But you want to be watching out for these flames. Don't let them get too high. Look for those sparks coming out the top of the curry, like we said before. That's a good indicator that the curry's cooking well. And then we want to be stirring nice and steady, not spilling it around. Looking for these sparks again, that means that the curry's cooking good. Like I said, like it's not the worst method and we want to be getting it in the lighter green shade so hit it around here because it still continues and we just got it in there and that is the curry done. Whoosh. And we're ready to serve it up and see what curry this is. And I think there are about 150 different curry recipes so if you're wanting to do your curry deck there's about 150 different curries you can cook and they've got different properties to them and give the Pokemon different benefits. For whatever ingredients you use so Eevee again looks like it's enjoying it we've got that Cobra Jar class again so that's not bad bit of leak curry uh, HP and PP were restored healed again so it looks like it's doing the same sort of thing as the last one and Eevee got quite friendly towards you so here we go now we will call over Eevee and just have a look so we'll just we'll just talk to Eevee see where it's at for its happiness so speak to Eevee it's four hearts Eevee looks like he wants to play, let's chat. Eevee looks like he wants to play with other Pokemon. Okay, so what we're gonna do is come out of camp and we'll hit the B button and just come out and uh, Eevee will gain some XP for that little curry and playtime that we've just done. And hopefully we should see it evolve. Here we go. We made sure that we want to get the Sylveon, so we've got that fairy type move on it. And fingers crossed, there we go. And it literally has been 10 minutes tops, I would say, to take because we had the get in the egg and all of that first. So there we go. That wraps up the guide for us. I hope this little method is helpful for you guys. It'll show you how to get the Soothe Bell, how to check your Pokemon's happiness as well. You just need to speak to this chap and you'll be able to use this method on any Pokemon in the game to max out their happiness and get that special evolution if you would want to. So I hope you found it useful, my friends. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great day. And remember to leave a like on the video if you have enjoyed it. Do subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon guides and Pokemon content. And I will see you all for the next one. So until then, take care and bye-bye.